we need to get back to the, the natural built-in mechanisms that we have for, for self-preservation and health, which laughter is one of them. <laughs> laughter yoga is a way for people to use laughter without telling jokes and being able to get the laughter to help them feel better. The interesting thing is, is that it helps ease pain. It can ease depression. It's a way to move and get into your inner child. And it's a lot of fun. And adults don't remember necessarily how to have fun. The bottom line of our research is that laughter not only makes us feel good, but it has a direct effect on our blood vessels. And our blood vessels control the likelihood of us developing a heart attack or a stroke. So if we keep the blood vessels healthy, then we're going to be healthy. You could burn up to 40 calories through five to 10 minutes of laughter. But equally important is that the blood vessel opening that we see is the same as going jogging. Or even taking one of our cholesterol medications known as statins, you get the same effect in terms of opening up your blood vessels as you do with a good, deep belly laugh. Laughing on a regular basis is not only good for our soul, but also great for our heart. Laughter is a way of communication. And that's why it's contagious, because when I'm laughing, you're looking at me and you're like, wow, you know, this is a positive energy. So you're more likely to join me in the laughter. But laughter is not present at birth. It appears about three to four months of age. And it's a, one of the most important early means of communication between babies and mothers. The mother will tickle the baby and the baby will smile and laugh. And the mother will do more of that. And if the baby doesn't like it, uh, the baby will fuss or cry and the mother stops. It's a kind of instinctive language that exists before we learn to talk. Laughter, like speech, evolved to change the behavior of other individuals. Does it have to have other purposes? It probably does, but we're just now starting to tease out what those differences are. Do the benefits of laughter come from the act of laughing? Or is it the social context, spending time with friends, family, and lovers? All of these are very difficult scientific issues that, that haven't been teased out. But laughter clearly feels good when we do. Isn't that enough?